Let's go to Vegas. All right, so I'm going to be in Vegas this week attending a research conference. It's called the American Physical Society or more commonly known as the APS. I'm giving a talk here. It's on Friday, so I'm going to be here the entire week. We are finally at the Champagne Airport. This is the first time I've been here. It is tiny. It is even smaller than a Walmart. It's almost completely empty. There's like in total three people at the airport. So I'm at the Chicago airport. It's uh, 5 p.m. right now. My flight is at 6. We reach Vegas around 10 in four hours. So yeah, I'll see you in Vegas. This is what you see when you land at the Vegas airport. There's slot machines right at the airport. Alright, so we have finally checked into our rooms and right now we are going out to get some dinner and then we'll see what's gonna happen after that. Alright, we are here for dinner. We have our food and this is Hung and this is Song On. And I'm starving right now so I'm gonna not talk into the camera anymore. And right now we are walking to a Walgreens to buy water because our shitty hotel room didn't even give us water. Four dollars per bottle. But it is what it is. So we are doing a Walgreens run at 11 at night. Let's actually do a room tour. Okay, so right here is the door. As we enter, we have this closet on the left. Uh, it's really nice. The bathroom on the right, which is quite big, quite fancy. The mirror is really, really big. And the shower is really nice. We actually got our own body wash and shampoo because the ones they have look quite industrial in nature, if you know what I mean. It just says shampoo, conditioner, and body wash on it. So. It's a little iffy. Anyway, the, showers, the shower pressure is really good. And then we enter into the room. The room is really big, really nice. It has two beds right there. And there's a, a big uh, full length mirror on the left. These little lamps are nice. The desk is pretty big. There's a little fridge inside actually. Yeah, the bed's really comfy. And the main part is obviously the view from this window. This is on the 17th floor. And just look at the view. It is so, so nice you can actually see the mountains in the distance right over there you can see the pool at night it's even better when all the lights are on so all in all the room is pretty good 10 on 10 and this room cost us fifth around 1500 dollars for five nights which actually i had to pay because of a little bit of a mess up but you know it's fine i'm gonna get reimbursed so it's gonna be okay all right, so it's Tuesday morning. It's actually my second day in Vegas. So right now I'm just gonna get ready, take a shower and go to the conference. First, I wanna get some breakfast here. The hotel's casino is right behind me. Got my little egg and cheese sandwich. It is very chilly outside and I've made the biggest mistake by leaving my jacket back at the hotel room. And right now, I don't know what direction I'm walking in because also I forgot to look at the maps. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, now we are walking in the right direction. Also at this conference, I have made the decision that I'm gonna do some networking. I don't know if you can see, but I have my little business cards with me. So I'm a big business person who goes to the business factory to do business work. And that's gonna happen, networking, because adults do that. So right behind me is the Caesars Forum. This is where the conference is supposed to be. I am gonna go inside, get my badge for the conference. And I think my advisor talks today, so I need to go to that. Got my badge and my schedule for the conference. Also, this badge is pretty shitty. It's not even laminated. It can get damaged very, very easily. I am here with Nachiket. 
I don't know if you remember him from my Boston video. I went to visit him. He's my friend from undergrad. We both have our name tags and little Wait. stickers. My head hurts. <laughs> <laughs> right now we're looking for a place to get lunch at. It was uh, nice inside. There was like a big exhibition village area where there's all the companies with their stalls and with their booths. Guys, I told you before that I'm gonna start networking. So here's what I'm doing right now. Damn bro, you have a business card. Networking done. In Vegas, I feel like every building I see has a screen on it. And it feels like I'm inside of a video game. So I'm inside a metaverse or something. See, there's just, just like a bunch of screens everywhere you go. Bob's Burgers. This is a pretty nice place that they have replicated to look like France. They have little cute streets and street signs. They have little cafes and little shops all around. Bonjour, Mademoiselle La Jumapelle. <laughs> See? Oui. <laughs> <laughs> We are at the APS merch store and I think I'm gonna get something. I am about to do spin the wheel and hopefully I win a decentish prize. almost lost my camera because I forgot the bag the camera was in in the photo booth. That is not a great thing because it's very expensive and I should be more careful with that. So we were at something called the Quantum Casino right now. We exchanged our photos using Quantum Key Distribution. Which makes no sense to me because I'm a mechanical engineer and I don't give two shits about quantum physics. But there were a lot of quantum physics based casino games. So right now we are going to a University of Illinois alumni networking event. And he's one of the imposters obviously but I just, I just told him to write at illinois.edu after his name so that he can get in. I feel like I'm cheating on my university. <laughs> Back in the hotel, having snacks because I'm hungry, although I still ate. It's a really nice song. It's by a band called Pop the Moves. They're a cover band, but well, not technically. They're a cover band, they do a lot of cover songs and they do a lot of fun things. Got just a regular small coffee from Starbucks and the price here is double of what it is in Illinois. This coffee cost me like 428, 430. And in Illinois I get it like 218 or something. I'm at the conference in the village area right now. Till now, I was going around at the poster session and I was looking at posters, talking to people, looking at relevant work, which I could be interested in. Also earlier when I was outside getting lunch, I actually ran into one of the people that was there at my internship in Germany at the Max Planck Institute back in 2019. So I went up to him and I introduced myself. He probably did not remember me, but I remember him. I just introduced myself and he was like, oh yeah, nice to meet you. Uh, he is at Princeton right now doing his postdoc. And yeah, he already knew who my advisor was and what kind of work I was interested in. It was great meeting him, small world. I got a bunch of shit from a lot of stores here, a lot of freebies, but I also bought some stuff. So I'm gonna show you my haul right now. This is an APS pen, this is this was free. Oh, I got APS uh, sticky notes, these are nice. I use sticky notes a lot for writing my to-do list. Uh, this is one of the nice things I got. I got a pin, it says shit got real. This one's pretty cool. 
how, how expensive is this? This is $10. This is 800 rupees. <laughs> These things are very expensive. Everything in the APS village is super expensive. A simple brewed coffee here, it's not even a latte, it's $8. I also got this very, another very cute Schrodinger cat. This is super cute, this is a dead or alive Schrodinger cat pin. This is what non-physicists think is cute. It is cute. Tell me it's not. You're ugly. <laughs> Thanks. And this is another Schrodinger dead or alive cat pin that I got for free. <laughs> so I didn't have to really waste $10 on this. But this is cuter so it's fine. I also have a fridge magnet uh, from ABS. Don't take your grant for granted. Just to remind myself how lucky I am to have nice funding in my lab. And that's it. That's my haul from the ABS village for day two. I also got this little pin which says green card for STEM because that's what I want to get this YouTube channel up and running so that I can monetize my videos. I need a green card for that. So, you know, sign a petition, sign a GoFundMe to get me a green card if you want to see more content from this channel. <laughs> get me a green card, guys. Comment for my green card below. Albert Einstein, you have photo with Albert Einstein? I just had a productive talk with my collaborator about my project progress and the talk I'm gonna give on Friday. Just requested a no questions asked extension from my, for my homework but it's actually only 48 hours so I still had to get it done by Friday. Um, Hijacking Sagar's vlog. He's going to pee. I think it's a great opportunity to get free stuff. Going back to the hotel now because I have to edit my slides and also probably start my homework because I'm a responsible boy. So I will see you there. Also, it's cold again outside and I'm not wearing a jacket. So that's completely on me. Pathetic. So we are actually having Gordon Ramsay's fish and chips and it doesn't feel like it's Gordon Ramsay's fish and chips, it just feels like regular fish and chips. The food isn't screaming at me, it isn't calling me an idiot sandwich, so I don't know, where's the Gordon Ramsay-ness of it? Songon is actually leaving us, what do I say? I don't have anything to say. Hell yeah. So that big Ferris wheel right there, we are actually going to that Ferris wheel right now. We just bought the tickets. It was not too bad. It was not too cheap, but not too bad also. And the tickets were 40 bucks. Kanpur ke mele mein bhi tha hai. inside the Bellagio hotel right now and this seems way too fancy for me to be in all the stores here are just the most fancy high-end stores there's Chanel behind me was Tiffany's over there is Louis Vuitton my bank account does not have enough zeros for me to be in here so I'm gonna get out <laughs> Today is gonna be a little bit of a chill day, gonna take it a little easy today. Since tomorrow is my talk, I gotta finish completing my slides and practice for my talk properly. I also gotta start my homework that's due. Gonna crank through this assignment as fast as I can so that I don't have to waste any more time on this. It's 3 p.m. right now. I've been stuck inside doing homework all day. I gotta practice for my talk now, but at least I'm done with my homework, so that's good. Hello everyone, my name is Sagar and today I'm going to be talking about dynamics of meniscus bond particle cluster extension. 
Jeremy, what do you think about this room? They have flamingos here. It's the best room ever. So we are at the luxury hotel right now and I am very excited about this very specifically because I remember this place from GTA San Andreas and I played that a lot as a kid so it is nostalgia coming alive for me it's not even focused man damn it I have one more dollar to spend so I'll spend it on to gamble in Vegas it's a really big hotel and I'm happy with my gambling experience because I lost all $20 but the adrenaline rush that I got when I won $2 was crazy so I think I'm addicted now so the lesson here is kids don't gamble okay <laughs> So today is the last day of the conference. I have my talk in an hour now, so I'm just gonna get ready and get over there. Hopefully it goes well. Starbucks like basic bitches. Alright, so I got done with my talk in the morning. It was a good experience. The talk went really well. Uh, surprisingly, it's, since it's the last day of the conference, everything here seems so, so empty. In my session, two people didn't even show up for their talks, which seems crazy to me. They've removed all of the booths and all of the stalls that they had put up, and it's like everyone is here with their trolley bags, and it, and it feels sad, you know. Now, Nachike is gonna have his talk at 12.30. He just practiced it in front of me once, and I'm gonna go to his talk. Alright, so I went to this souvenir shop downstairs and I got this uh, nice Vegas fridge magnet. Uh, I got this another roulette magnet that also doubles as a fidget spinner for some reason. And this little Vegas $100 poker chip. These seem like nice little fun things to get. Anyway, I am leaving tomorrow at 5 in the morning. And I think I'm gonna do some packing now. And then I'm gonna call up Hung, my lab mate, to see what he's up to. And you know, we're gonna have dinner, hang out a little in the night. And yeah, then we're gonna get back home. 